Your car guy here. Today we're going to review, and I'm not sure quite how to pronounce that, O-I-I-Walk, Oiwak. But what this is, this is a great little tool. This is a boroscope. So a couple of things right here, three and a half meters. That's how long our cable to our camera is. And 5.5 millimeters, that's how big around the camera is. So let's open this up and let's take a look at this really cool tool and product. All right, so let's take a look and see what all we get with this tool. Here we have our user's manual for the tool. Um, in the case, we've got some adapters. These will go onto the camera lens. One has a magnet on it, one has a hook, and one has a mirror. Uh, the magnet to pick up something that you may have dropped down inside a wall or a door or a really tight access place. The hook, again, something to pick something up with. And the mirror, because the camera is going to see straight down wherever we shoot into, that mirror would then let it see to the side. And so we can actually use that as a looking down camera or a side angle camera. So those are those pieces there. We have a charging cable. And then we have our tool, which underneath here, you'll see, we have our three and a half meter cable. And that cable ends up being about, well, we're talking um, 11 or so feet long. Uh, so quite the cable. If you look at how small this camera is compared to my fingernail that's the camera and it is a lighted head there is controls to brighten or dim the lights right here on the side of the unit now we have a really nice color screen here let's turn it on we'll see what kind of resolution we have so yep you yep, can see looking out the window or really getting down into the grain of this table. And you can see that light working. If I run it underneath something, lights up whatever area that you're trying to get into. Now, some things that this is able to do, we are able to have the display. We're able to record. So if I hit enter in this area using the control directions, now I'm recording whatever I'm shooting at. Hit OK again to stop. I can take pictures of whatever I'm looking at with this. And it has a memory card built into this. So we have memory right here, this memory card slot, micro SD card, and we can record save those pictures, move them onto a computer, then we can do whatever we want to with them. So we'll go back to our home screen. And again, look at just how nice and clear the picture is on this. That is, I believe, 1080 that it'll record in. Um, so really clear picture. We're gonna play with this. We're gonna move it into some tight areas and show exactly what this can do. Now, in order to put one of the other adapters that comes with this on, you would unscrew the tip of this shield off. And then we can take one of our adapters here. Let's see our hook adapter and it screws on to the tip here. This is a lot better than the design of some that I've seen where any adapter just slid on, which would leave it susceptible to getting caught on something and falling off. But it retains that same small size that allows us to see uh, or to get into a tight place. Now I can show you, even with that hook on, you'll see that I can still see past, so I could see 
what I'm working on hooking if I'm down working with that hook inside of something. So the camera sees past the hook. So really neat feature that we've got there, the ability to see past and go and hook something or pick it up with the magnet. Or again, we can use the mirror, which will let us see to the side. All right, so I'm gonna show you what this can do inside a dark engine bay with that lighted end on it. I'm gonna run this right in a spark plug hole. So we're gonna go in side and we can see the top of our piston. Let's turn up our light. You can see a lot of carbon in there. But the piston itself, at least from what I'm seeing here, looks all right. But that's going right in a spark plug hole here. So being able to see the top of a piston, again, I could use the mirror attachment and look around inside this cylinder and see if I can spot an issue that might be going on with this motor, including looking at the walls for damage. Now you can see the resolution so clear. I could use this to read a fingerprint. I mean, look at how fantastic that does with some up close visibility. Even if I wanted to look very closely at a bolt, a nut, anything that I might be looking at. So the camera's magnification or ability at really close range is fantastic. Now a little bit further out, it might get slightly blurry, but still pretty good from a distance. But the ability to focus right up close is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna run this right inside this vacuum port and this intake manifold. Now there's not a lot to see here, but I can see all this oily buildup, but boy, that fits in nice small spaces that I might not be able to see in otherwise, including inside my fuel line here. And I could go right in and inspect the inside of that fuel line. So maybe I'm looking for a restriction the size on this camera really makes it nice for being able to get in some tight spaces. We'll go inside this coolant port here. Well, look at the ability to see in there. Absolutely magnificent. Very, very clear picture. This is really impressive. So let's say I've got something going wrong inside my door. I can fit right down in through the top of it, right down in and inspect the lock mechanism, see what may or may not be going on down in there, which will save me a lot of time on disassembly to be able to see exactly what's happening. Now the cable on this is nice and stiff. It's flexible, meaning I can I can take this cable and I can bend it, but if I put it in a shape, it's gonna hold that shape, which will allow me to snake it into places and really be able to see exactly where I wanna see. If that's too flexible and just flops around, it's gonna be really hard to direct it where we want it. All right, you can see that, let's say you've got a drain that's giving you issues. This is small enough to fit right down inside the drain pipe and see what's going on and we can turn our light up. I can see all the slime. 
I could run this right down that drain in and through the P trap on the water with as much as I've got. And you'll look, that's fitting through the smallest holes in this drain grate. So excellent for checking plumbing. Say I've got a clog or I've got something going on and I need to inspect it. This will work fantastic to, to get down into that plumbing, see what's happening and be able to fix it. Let's say I'm working on something and I need to see inside of a wall. I could run that right inside, even into a small area and feed that camera right into the wall. Let's see if I can, I'm following that cable right up inside the wall, wall cavity there. And that is through just an opening. There's my cables running in there. Looks like maybe a spider web up in there, even where these cables are stapled to the wall. And that is running through an opening that is absolutely tiny, that just has my TV cables run through it. So great inspection inside a wall, inside a pipe, a drain, working on cars, working in the house, whatever you might need it for. This is a great tool specifically, I'd say especially because of how great the price is on this tool. It is really, really inexpensive, especially for the quality that I'm getting with both the ability to for the camera, the lighted camera especially, and the ability to adjust the light level on that camera. But um, what it can do, the length of the cable, how far I can search down into something in order to see what I need to see and see what's happening. This is really, really neat. Overall, I really, really like this tool. This is something that's very useful for me, whether it's working on cars or working around the house. And it actually came in very handy the other day. I uh, got sick and did a video call or a video visit with a doctor. And the doctor wanted to check my throat. And unfortunately, trying to do the video call via computer or via uh, telephone, it's really hard for the doctor to see inside my throat. What I was able to do was to aim the camera uh, of my phone at this and then run the camera down into my throat and the doctor was able to see what was going on inside my throat. And then I was, thus I was able to get a better diagnosis via a video visit with the doctor. The doctor actually was really, really shocked and loved the product and said, hey, why doesn't everybody have one of these? Well, not everybody's thought about it, but it's something that's come in very handy for me already in an area that I did not expect. Uh, you know, because it's a video endoscope, basically, or a boroscope, endoscope, whatever you want to call it. And here's some things about it. You know, that's a 4.3 inch full color screen with it. Uh, that is LCD. So we have the ability, and we talked about it earlier, either to do pictures uh, in JPG or video with it. That's two megapixels on the camera for the pictures, and it's 1080p high definition for the video. So your ability to capture with all of that is really fantastic. So if, if you're using this for a business and you need to record what you see back there for a customer or take pictures of it in order to show what's happening, and again, whether it's in the wall, whether it's in uh, a drain, whether it's inside an engine, because I'm snaking it down into an engine, if I need to be able to see into a tight area that I just can't see when I'm working on something, and the ability to adjust the light so I can turn that light up or down as needed to get the best picture. I'm really impressed with how good a quality the up close filming is. So when it's in there and getting that really minute detail, you can see what's going on with it. It's really fantastic. I highly recommend the tool. I think that for the money, you really cannot beat it. Of course, you can get it on Amazon, uh, like just about anything else. Uh, Amazon seems to be able to get just about everything that you can think of these days. I would recommend the tool. I'd recommend you get one. On Amazon, the price of this is less than $70. That is a fantastic price for something that's gonna do so much for you. It's something that you'll be able to use over and over again, 
again, medical purposes, home improvement purposes, plumbing issues, electrical and wiring issues, trying to find where wiring is inside of a wall or a ceiling if you're having to do some work there. Working on vehicles, um, even your lawnmower, being able to run into places and see what's happening in a tight area that you cannot see into. Fantastic tool, I highly recommend it. Uh, for less than $70, how are you gonna go wrong? You really can't. Uh, just what it did for me, just in a medical sense already, was really impressive. And again, it was funny because the doctor really was excited about it. So this is your car guide. I recommend this little digital boroscope or endoscope as it may be called um, from Oiwak or Oiwak, however, however it's pronounced. It's a great tool, especially for the price. In the past, I have paid $300 plus $500 for boroscopes that were not as good as this one and didn't have near the capabilities that this did, didn't have the, the resolution of the screen. You know, granted a lot's changed, technology's advanced, but this is better than any of the ones that I've owned in the past at a fraction of the price of what I used to pay for them. So I highly recommend it. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description to where you can go and buy one of these uh, for yourself. Use this tool, have fun with it. Please, hey, like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel.